Rush, can you do the pistol round? Just just let us warm into it. Give us the uh, whole pistol. Sure. This balance with the USP. Smokes are raining down. What looks to kind of be on the B side, one towards short. Molly going to knock him off, though, which means they can take the ground. Mary's playing close to that smoke. I don't know if he wants to go further, but they are going to run straight into Khan. It's going to be big problems here. High response will come to the smoke as well, but handled very well by the T's. SDY in a tough spot. Broke is doing some nonsense onto Mia, but Mia does win out on it. And Nico pushing through the smoke, wants oh. to close it out, but oh, some good kills coming back, actually. Now it's a, what, like this position, but oh, gets destroyed by Magix. The, um, the, the oh. blade is still on for three here. Oh, oh. and he gets it as well. Three the blade the is round. sharp. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Three kills in one round. There we go, Rush. Wow. You've been practicing. We were speaking to Rush about this last night, actually, the commentary. We want to get him on here full time. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to take his job. Here, I'm commentary take mine. Camp. Yeah. Okay. Get him out here. Get him flexing. Can you imagine that? Ladies and gentlemen of Cologne, it's Rush Lee and Chad. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be casting. I'd be observing oh, poorly. You'd be missing all the kills. Yeah, the crowd would just be ahhing and ooing. <laughs> like, fi <laughs> I've had firework just been <laughs> oh. 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 We're um we're applying for the Cloud9 Danger Zone team. Oh, yeah. They're, rec they're recruiting. We haven't... Uh, Okay, hold up a hold second. On, hold on, there's, there's some dangers here. It should Is be there? dealt with soon. It should be dealt with soon. Get another race, Mir. Come on, Mir. Get him, Mir. Oh, he's got the nade. Come on, Mir. Oh, come on, Mir. Who's going to steal it? Somebody young? Get him, Mir. Get another one. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's gone the wrong way. No, Mir, come on. Guys, yeah, let, yeah, me, yeah, let yeah. me have the ace. Thinking about it. He's just chilling. He is in the one dig range, so probably playing the the game. <clears throat> I'm not going to be falling to any of that funny business. So Brokey with his uh, low health, 20 single points. Not going to get him anywhere. Pretty good Glock round, all things considered. You got messy there for a moment. If yeah. he didn't mop up with four big ones, we might have seen a completely different round unfold. To have the audacity after losing wind mid to jump into that wind. Oh, it's a good shot. He's gonna get the ace anyway. Hey, <laughs> the patience is a virtue and all that stuff. Okay, well that's a really good round from Phase. Considering yeah. the low investment, that's actually fantastic work. So if we're gonna be uh, putting ticks in boxes, that's a big one there. I've got a tick for you for a different box though, Chad, and that's yeah. this balance getting an orb in the second round of play. You do love to see it. That's yeah, a drop from Mir. Straight up, just Selfless. regurgitates it. And he's going to be going in with just the Desert Eagle from Brokey's corpse. So All like pictured there was a was a mama bird, Alex, into a baby bird's mouth. Exactly. And you yeah, just bleh, big green. Yeah. <laughs> a huge orb comes out. <laughs> Very visual. Um, and lacking any visuals. Just broken mid. Rife. Rain going to be trying to get some room. Garnered, and he's quite quick on it, too. He's a little further ahead than maybe he's expecting some resilience. But no, smoke still into play. Those two players through Palace, if they get the timing right, Chopper could be in all sorts of bother. He's a nuisance, isn't he? <laughs> Pain in the ass. Absolutely everywhere. Ah. Crispy. Oh. Ah. Boys are on it today, aren't they? Yeah, they're picking up where they left off on Dust too, that's for sure. Aim is looking very, very good. SDY probably has another here under Kyoby. Bombs drop, rotation will come in. They don't need to play retake this time round. Cold Zero and Nika. We've seen them do some absolutely heinous things before. Certainly have, but with the bomb being where it is, you're gonna have to kind of play through pretty much all of the players to get towards it. Yeah, especially the fact that they're trying to go for window control as well. This is the most precarious territory just purely because of that SMG in the hands of Magic. So if they want to go for the flank, there's no way they'll make the kill onto Magic. The sound cue's been heard. Oh. Jumping on pass, so at least they've been able to avoid that. But if he tucks through, he's definitely dead. So now they need to open up for some wider jewels. But look at this three, all the nade. Oh, that's that's shy. different. That could have been something, but yeah. Positions will be noted. They know what's going on, but this check from Cold could be good. That's Arrow. Cool. three. And now Nico left. Oh, excuse me. Surgical precision on one by the time. They can expend players to this. No one else would give it up. And Mir to close down the account. Two kills from that round again, keeping ever present. But it looks like, as I said, Spirit kind of picking up where they left off. Yeah, and I think the problem here is because it was still 
kind of costly. There's only two players surviving on the Team Spirit side of things. FaZe might consider going for a buy, which I don't hate the call. They've uh, had two rounds in a row where it was relatively dangerous. They could go for some light upgraded pistols here with a bit of utility onto the A site, because as we were talking about, they do like to play retake. So we are back underway. Smoke towards top mid. Bunch of HEs, so nuke in towards the window. I just balance things better of sticking around. Ooh, push on up towards Cat and Connector. Oh, pressure is on now. I just balanced. You have to get a kill in this map. Oh, ouch. That's an off. He's just feeling the game. Everything's lining up for him now. Easy round to be doing it in, and these guys are just pinned in. Every single corner is pretty much locked off. Disbalanced with the tag. Let's get dinged up. This is a chance for them to chase him. No one led support. Suddenly, magic's called in. And the cavalry will surely pick up the orb. Yeah, no harm, no foul. So they have the orb. Lovely. It's three assists so far for old boy Idis Balance. So he just <laughs> needs to convert one. He'll get there. Uh, you always have the... I don't know if you guys have had those games where nothing... Well, it's hitting. You're just not converting. Oh, every day, bro. Actually, every game. Minus 84. I hate they having the 11 assist games. You're like, 11 assists? Like, really? Come on. My least favorite, and I don't know how it's possible mathematically, is I'm getting minus 99 in two with my deagle shots. Like at certain oh, yeah, ranges, yeah. that's really a, quite a heartbreaker. Yeah, I think the, the the thing with the deagle that's a bit strange is obviously if you put two bullets in the belly, that's a frag. But if you put three, yeah. towards the, it has to be three towards the chest, right? Yeah. So that's a trap that some people have fallen into. And you want to obviously go for the, the biggest target, which normally is the, the chest. Center so, of mass. Yeah, yeah, can be a bit frustrating. But this is a, an oldie but a goodie. So smoke off towards window. Know that you isolate the window player and eventually they have to move back through jungle. So this is great for the orbit to post up. But how cognizant is Mir of this? Chopper can drop his smoke at any point, which will lock Brokey out of going for this pick. It's just do they want to try and flush Mir back? So the smoking window has cleared now. Still nothing from Chopper. If he hears the scope, he will swoop. Yeah, I mean, this is a really good chance for FaZe here. Oh, the timing. He waited so long. He waited that entire time. Mir just slips through. Now the smokes are up. Yeah, it's nice from Mir. Peeks out, gets one. Chopper still unawares of oh. Loki. Yeah, this could be an issue. Molly comes in. Suddenly there's a plenty of targets. But Chopper, very proficient, it feels. Even on the SMGs, Cold Zero having to put a little bit more attention towards it than he'd like, but he does eventually take down Chopper. So Bomb Plant should be coming in. There is a Molly and a Nade. Don't know if it's going to stop it. It doesn't, but it hinders Running. the post plant. There he goes, and now the 1v2. He's so open. He's so vulnerable. If they double peek this, Brokey, how do you survive? He doesn't know. Neither do I, oh. but he gets away with it. Re-peeking in, catches disbalance. And they find their first off the back of Brokey. Three frags from him to contribute. And it was the first, of course, you saw the catch on SDY just as he pulled the incendiary. So timing, though it didn't favor Brokey initially, you can see that first frag certainly did have an element of timing. It was Nico into Mir initially, but that is the double shot, just getting himself stuck on the ladder, re-peeking in and being very quick to the trigger. Probably a good thing he got stuck there. I think if he was going down in towards Shadow, he might have got the better of him there. So. It's all good in the hood as Spirit move forward. And we've seen this out of mirror a couple of times now, using this one way over the top of the cap position. Able to pick up a few kills, even using it with teammates' flashes from time to time. Matter of the fading smokes here as Mir makes steps. Magix is under pressure. Oh, the spray is a bit too wild this time. Rain has got them on the way in. Phase have access to B. To fight back is the four of them. Molly's to keep them at bay. Bomb down courtesy of Kirby and Cold. This gets awkward now. No kits at all for the CTs. Molly's going to be a huge factor on this. And uh, Sunday Young going to be kept in check by Rain. Kirby forced away, though. The Molly's being put down to hinder that CT play back in. And time is, is ticking. I don't know how much they're going to have to work with on this. It's got to be swift. It's got to start now. Otherwise, they ain't got much left. Chopper's already evacuated the scene. Mir gets the one-for-one one trade out, but these boys are out of there. Keep the guns up. Play it for the next round. Another one on the board for FaZe. Finding a little bit of comfort here. Rain's got only the MAC-10, so it makes sense to be hunting. SDY is going to be fed one. You can see Rain timed his peak with the shake of the screen, hoping that would catch him off, but not quite enough. But still, seventh round, third map, and the second for FaZe Clan. That's going to put the CTs that weren't saving into dire straits. Looks like an SMG's been dropped out, so they'll have something. 
Yeah, good stuff to get this buy across here. Mir going down towards that B bomb site, which is trying to do as much damage as he possibly could. I don't know if he got caught on the wrong side of that save call, but regardless, Spirit have been able to cobble something together. I just bounced still with the orb, still yet to get a kill. And he smoked out again. Summit's a bit quicker from Rain. Up oh. towards Cap, very fast, and Mir will get the better of him this time round. It's insane the pace they're playing with these days, and they expect the hit off the back. Similar to last round, but this time the Mollies are there. They've stopped it for now. Bubble Molly, you really can't run through that. The flashes keep coming, though, and that barrage has encouraged four CTs to rotate in. They've got all the players they oh. need. The whole team oh. is here. The whole team spirit team is here. They even TK'd. Oh, they're so low. So damn low. What are you supposed to do? Broke his... Spotted, Mir likely could finish him off with a jump frag, if anything. They're actually going to boost up if they need it. Cold did well with some damage there, but this has left Brokey with the AWP and no HP, meaning, well, hmm. probably the save. It's very difficult to see how he gets back into this. He can go around the world, and it looks like he's considering his options. Curious if he wants to try and poke for anything. It is a very difficult retake. Team Spirit have no reason to be leaving the bomb side or leaving the bomb. And I think this scope right here is indicative of it will just be the save. The money on the side of things for FaZe Clan with the loss bonus that they're going to have coming through is going to be a total of 2,400. So Rain will have enough to buy Cold Zero 2. Brokey will be able to drop a gun across. So they will be able to get something on the board for round number eight. But that one start, uh, finished as quick as it started. Rain losing that jewel to Mir, and then it was just stop in the B apartments. Nade after nade after nade. And well, that was all she really wrote. 14 for Mir. We obviously saw that ace earlier in the piece. He's off to a Really good map here, 166 ADR. We'll get these highlights because it is just going to be that save, ladies and gents. So I don't think we'll miss too much. Holdzera did TK Nico in all of that madness too. So you can just see how chaotic it was up there. I wonder if uh, Brokey's finished saving yet. <laughs> He's probably just still there in the apartment. Just still there, years later. He's having a day. Um, but no, the streak of rounds has now been slowed. Two back-to-back -back for FaZe. They were starting to build into it, and the timeouts come in. So maybe time to consider. What was the previous round to that? Was that mid kind of crazy brokey clutch out, right? Mm. Well, he had the two kills from top of the balcony position when they did that split onto the mm. ace site. So it was Mia over towards the jungle position getting traded out by Nico. And then there was a bit of a flubbed timing uh, on some Dai Young pulling out his neck, getting caught with his pants down, and that was brokey going huge. So brokey won't be able to drop anything more than a Galil here but he'll still be able to drop. And the buy, the buy can look good. Like, it can still be a very decent round from phase. It just depends on what approach they want to look for in terms of their utility. Rain would have a full set. Cold is going to have a bunch of nades. Nico could buy it. Here we go. So he, maybe it, there it is. So the Galil gets dropped across. Kirby picks that one up. Nico can get himself a Tech-9 or a Deagle. Probably the Deagle knowing it is Nico. Hmm. Well, he's got given a Galil as well. So, okay, they've made the buy work. Rain's been able to drop that across because he would, didn't go for the full set of nades. Uh, that means they're a little bit lighter on utility than they could have been, but at least they have rifles across the board. So it is a good buy. Early, early A smokes that. Oh, there's been a bunch of these, boys. Wait. What's going on? God. A bunch of missed smokes throughout. Okay, well. Peculiar. Yeah, it wouldn't have sold a lot anyway. No, as certainly. As concerned. We've got the throw. This is, that's a different approach to the uh, second double pump. And there you have it. Can deep jungle, deep con, cold to sell the fake. As much as oh, what is going on? Could. Rain's going to work it out for them. He has got the necessary frag, but burning oh. down Kirby. Oh, this is looking a little sketchy here. Brokey forced into an unnatural situation, jumps into the jaws of Mir. And so it's just Nico, last one to the party. Picking up the bomb, wondering where it all went wrong. They just took a time out for that. So you think they would have had a good idea of what approach they were looking for there? It just looked really disjointed. Cold's running out on his own, right? Like he was just running out a ramp on his own. They're hoping that they were more passive. I did speak about the fact that the spirit games we've watched, they've played a lot of retake over towards A, and they're not doing that as much in this map right here today. So potentially that mix up is catching FaZe off guard, but it just feels great one by one as Nico gets taken down from SDY from the window position, and that's six on the board. The faster rounds for FaZe are good to watch, but they're even getting shut down here too, so... Hmm. I will say as well that, you know, if you were to, to beat Spirit uh, on Mirage, you, it would be by having a, a competitive, a, a compelling T-side, but I do think the CT rounds for FaZe are coming. True. Um, so, point. 
So I do, I do want to kind of monitor and manage expectations to the point where if FaZe end this with anything close to six, uh, they, they definitely are within arm's reach. And it's worth highlighting Team Spirit. The stats point towards a weakness on their T side as well. Under the 50% majority in terms of rounds one on the T side over the course of the last three months. Chop up. He's tested and he's found himself a double. Quickly finished off by Mir as he decides this round's over. Cold Zera, I'm afraid this decision's been made for you. Oh, uh, I just oh. There's only one player left. I just balanced. There's only one player left. Wake up. <laughs> he almost oh. got taken out a couple of times there. <laughs> He's still looking towards window. Okay. Well, didn't realize that everybody got taken out in mid so quick. Seven to two. This is where uh, they need... No, Mir's not talking. Like, I, I, <laughs> I'm just killing everybody. Just tell Mir is one of those guys. Like, he, he just sits there in the server. He's dropping heads and he just kind of says, uh, mid dead. And you're like, great, 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 man. Great. Nice one, man. Congratulations. You're a gamer, but you just don't have a mouth. As long as they're all dead, that's what, that'd be That's better. okay. All I mean, dead. Okay. Listen, listen, I wouldn't be complaining about Mir's play style when he's 17 and 2. That's against, true. <laughs> against FaZe Clan. That is very true. Nice ah. grenade. Oh. Every single time they seem to do early good damage. Chopper this time, though, going to be tested once again. This time, better armed team. Oh. Alive, 15 HP. Molly goes right back in, and Rain, he wanted to try and progress. Maybe he will be at least slowed, but this time Faze have at least got a touch of mid control. Yeah, they have close up towards the vent room. They have a player in connector. You've got overseeing right now, Brokey towards the short oh, position. Don't like that bomb. Lurking over to Hadad. It's it's not the end of the world, but the problem is how committed Rain is alongside of Nico. They're full commit right now, so that means that Brokey's probably one of the individuals who has to go back and get the bomb. And look at this, Mir's pushing in. He's seen him. And Rain's taken out of the equation, so that territory they had, it's gone. This is just standard mid-control smokes that people were doing back in the day. And Eco able to convert against Mir. So, look, a one-for-one one in this scenario, not too bad. But now the bomb does become a problem, as you mentioned, Lauren. 45, looking for space on B. Magic's tested. It's Kirby having a look. Trying to find the necessary frag, but it's not been delivered. Now what? There's no trade, there's no flag. There was, it just feels so individual with yeah, these guys. Yeah, it really does right now. This is only the second Mirage official for this FaZe Clan roster with Kirby. Used to be a staple of their map pool. You guys found a second into the round. Very important kill to open the side up. Keeps it competitive. They have to get that bomb down though, and Disbalance is in such a good position to stop it. Oh, not anymore, he's not brokey. Keeps that planter safe. SDY from short though, oh. shows up and nearly takes them all. Oh my goodness, Brokey left alone. SDY's inflicted good damage, they're both low. 30 health between the two remaining. And with the AWP in his hand, he's found the first. One remains, it's SDY. And Brokey saves FaZe Clan, not for the first time, not for the last. Another clutch for the young gun. That's two, that's two big 1v2 situations from Brokey here. And when you consider they only have three rounds on the board, two of them having to come through clutch situations of your AWP player within mid-rounds, within post-plant scenarios, that's no easy feat. So Brokey doing his absolute best to try and keep them in this game. We needed Nico to come alive. He found those two openings, the one from the vent room and the one onto the B site to alleviate some of that pressure. But the guns will come out again. Honestly, I'm, I'm looking at Brokey again. His nuke performance got them so much room to play with. And if he can maybe muster a little bit of that here, Game back on Mir, trying it again this time. Does have support from Chopper, though. A little bit more proactive towards Com, but oh, forced away by the util. This spot. angle... God, that could be filthy. Kirby, yeah, surely not. There's no chance you get away from that. Mir's having a great game. Oof, people are going to have to start pre-firing that wow. now within that top mid smoke. And they come. In Sandwich, Chopper does well to find a one. Spots Brokey, knows the sprain on the side as the incendiary is thrown out. Oh. oh, and through the smoke, they connect. Nothing will work for FaZe, it seems. Everything they try, there's always an if, there's always a but. Maybe Nico and Brokey can claw this one back. Let's not forget his impact previously. Do you like the big flank from Mir as well. If that actually comes into place at the right time, could be gorgeous. Brokey's seeming to consider it, though. I don't know how they get into this right now. Nico needs to find a kill, and Brokey's going to get done by timing here. Mira's found the perfect window. And now it's just Nico in a one on three situation. Make it one on none, because he's dead. <laughs> and uh, eight rounds now on the board for Spirit. So this is quickly running away from FaZe. We haven't seen that many coordinated attacks so far. I'll point it out again two of these three rounds have come from Brokey clutches. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. 
Looks like they're going for the partial investment. Just kind of keep around that 1.5 mark in the bank balance that they'll be able to buy in the next round. The loss bonus, 3,400 in the following for phase. So they will have all the goodies they require. Standard mid utility coming on through just to feign that mid presence. Smoke towards top mid, smoke towards window. Molotov towards the connector position. Kyobi selling this on his own as it will be a B hit. So this is going to be on Magix over towards the side. Oh, great shot from Disbalance. Sets him up. Magix tucks in. He's a very solid B anchor and he hasn't even had to fire a bullet yet. Disbalance is keeping him safe. So yeah, these tech nines have fallen flat. And that's the end of that. Nine for Spirit and already starting to get towards the danger numbers here. This is where I started to draw the line for FaZe mm -hmm. Clan. I said around six, so margin for error nullified now. FaZe, they cannot really stomach any more of this from Team Spirit. Otherwise, that second half is going to be a real battle and we'll start hinging on coin toss rounds such as the pistol. So this is important. No what for Brokey, so uh, his clutch weapon not in play. Oh, and that's been so instrumental in <laughs> the vast majority of their rounds. But it looks like a flash to mid coming out for Chopper. Gets set into play, but nothing garnered. But Ooh. he's going to nade it. Kirby's going to cop Kirby. this. That's a catch. And a oh, oh, the double nade. Put down a 20 and put to bed by Mir. This guy is the terror of the entirety of it. He's had presence oh. and now they've got confidence. It's a horrible duo to try and fight against and now reading the play from underpass. Fine. Oh. It can't go any better for these boys. One by Brokey. one. God, Zara, it is individual, it's isolated, and it's making it comfortable for Spirit. None of those jewels were tradable whatsoever. Kyobi couldn't do anything. Nico gets isolated. Rain picks up going for the trade. Brokey's too far behind to help. Cold is in no man's land. And we have a minute left. They have utility. They have no space. They have nothing to work with. This would be an insane 2v5 if they were able to pull this back, but I don't even know where the door is open. Well, that's one little kick in the right direction. Partially open door. Yeah. Oh, uh, and it's closed <laughs> the door's again. not looking good. Yikes. I think Brokey might be uh, dead, guys. 4 HP, what do, what do you reckon? I think, uh, yeah, Mir agrees. He does pick it up real quick. He's actually looking to finish a half with three deaths. Um, don't see that every day. Don't see that one every What's day. What's his ADR? Uh, good question. Yeah, I don't know. His KD's nuts, that's for sure. But let's see how Chopper pushed up middle. Look at this. And then he just crouched and peeked it. Like, he knew the trade would eventually come. But yeah. the fact is, it was one by one, as Chad outlined and giggled. It is, of course, not a laughing matter for FaZe as they are feeling absolutely a little hot under the collar after that one. Nice sunnies, dude. I just bought a pair similar. Respect. I'm going to have a look, see if I can check his ADR right now because there it is, 151. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, dear. Okay, it's the A execute. It's simple but effective. SDY will be ahead of this smoke wall. Okay, some die young. Smoke's up, everyone's coming over here. The CTs are pouring players in. We've got contact on ramp. I disbalance, unfazed, unpressured, still standing. Oh, the spray hurts. Cold Zera can't leave the smoke. Their gray screen, the round is already over. I have no reason to raise my voice. It's 11. Just like that, in the blink of an eye, FaZe disintegrate again. Throwing their bodies fast into the A side. It seems like disbalance is always where he needs to be. I don't know the quality of the comms from Team Spirit, but he's certainly reading the map and reading what little information or what information he's given very well. Is that a Dak Dak on the floor? That's a Dak Dak on the floor. On Someone the pick floor. it up. Someone get the auto sniper. Come on, don't leave it. Don't buy it and tease me like this. A little bit of temptation. Like a little bit of temptation. Oh. Don't tease me like this, boys. Maybe you'll see it for the clutch. I'll come back for it. <laughs> the swing through CT picks up the Dak Dak. Right. <laughs> Back towards middle, where's old Mir? He's been the menace over there, but this time over on towards Shaw to begin with. Let's see if Rain maybe gets past the starting blocks. SDY was just peppered over towards that A side of things. Look at Mir. Look how many liberties he's taken. Nick and Nico just wasn't ready for it. His timing is sublime. Rain does get the trade. He needed that. Bomb's top middle now. What on earth are you up to? <laughs> Oh my lord, Team Spirit just decided to hold W. Well, okay, we all calm it down after that one. SDY and Magic's are the ones to pull this one back into the realms. And oh my goodness, a 1v2 for some die young, practically a 1v3. They're going B? Okay, so he's made the wrong call. Get the auto sniper. 
Oh, they're both paused on Cat. If he gets around and in position when this connector smoke clears, he... No way. All the time. It's cleared. I don't think he's going to be picking. passive, yeah. Oh. Still convinced it could be A. They're still there. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Okay. <laughs> well, he's gambled. and He's gambled incorrectly. It happens. Yeah, it's the last round, so he's just going to go a tuck into the balcony position and hope. And we know that in the balcony... One Molotov at a plant's time. He's going to have to cover the rest of the map. Yeah, knife out from SDY. Oh, they're faking it. They're giving him lots of time to get himself in the right frame of mind, the right spot. <clears throat> Scoops up a flashbang. 34 HP. I don't see him winning this one. Nah, he'd need a ridiculously clean shot into the first duel, which will be brokey. Saying that, they can even double peek. He's scoping. It's audible. The smoke would be good. And a pretty far. Okay, so 11 to 4, FaZe. They've got a lot of work ahead of them. But it is Team Spirit's T side, and it's not always been tickety boo. we've got in store for us today from Team Spirit. Other than that, it is, of course, FaZe Clan going up against them. Should they concede here? Should they fall? It will be a fall by the wayside and indeed an absolute elimination. They will not continue or be viable for the playoffs. It will be more about pride and survival and recovery. Of course, this is also a developmental league when you've got so many teams, so many games in a round-robin format. Myself, Pansy, and Sponge on the mics here. Let's get into it. Flashes for Nico. 
And already looking like a strong start from Team Spirit. If they convert this one, it could be disaster. Rain wants to change things with a mid push. Flash is good, but Chopper wasn't blind and neither was Mir. And that's three quick oh, frags no. right out of the gate. Chad, he's already putting a fork in this one. Oh dear. Well, they can get away and go to that A bomb site if Magics can take the bomb out of dodge. Kirby wanting to push forward. This is the only kill oh, he has to deal good, with. Now man. that he is done, it's just called zero four kills to the name. And it's going to stay that way. I cannot believe that flash from Nico didn't actually do anything. Why? To those two don't, I don't know. I don't wasn't in Skybox, so no. actually, no, I am. So I can, oh. I can have a look. Oh, no, I'm still on Dust 2. Never mind. It's all right. It's all good. But it did look like, maybe, I mean, maybe they were looking into the wall a little bit. Could have been, but yeah. it's just it, the fact that that didn't get them enough at all to stop that kind of a pick is wild. Chop up the in-game leader with three massive kills on the pistol round right there. And if FaZe don't win this force by, that's game over. And if you are a FaZe fan, this is them done in Pro League. They have to play one more match after this. Sorry, two more two matches more. after this. Um, but they cannot qualify for the top four, which means you won't be seeing them in playoffs. It just flashes straight out, quick pounce, Rain's dead. Pack her up, boys. Yeah, this is looking horrible. Oh, good flash. And Brokey have done very well here, but Magix is still fighting. You can see the Spirit are playing with a little bit of reckless abandon. Hey. They get overwhelmed. FaZe can at least get the defuse, but it does feel like a, I don't know, a bandage on an absolute, I don't know, missing limb at this point for FaZe. But it's, I guess it's the starting blocks, right? This is this is the, the grind back, but... I started packing up the tent already. I was already. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you. Though. I was already undoing the, the ropes and getting the car around. Let's wait and see. Maybe FaZe can show us some lights here. Alex was bang on, saying that uh, Spirit and their T half hasn't been the most convincing. Uh, we've seen some very, very slow Counter Strike out of them in the past. It's probably a map they knew was going to be coming into play today. So something I'm sure that they would have worked on. But it's the pace changes which is the scariest thing. And if the FaZe individuals aren't ready and ready to go. It could get caught with their pants down. This will just be the economical round. You will just see the Glocks and a P250 in the hands of Chopper. So nothing very exciting for this one. Uh, there was actually a decoy on SDY as well, Sorry, Chad. He so threw it as a fake over towards the B site Thank to draw you. any early utility. That's fifty dollars you didn't address. Well, fifty dollars, Alex, doesn't go that far these days. Certainly not in Counter Strike or in London. <laughs> yeah, I don't think fifty. But I don't know what fifty euros would even get you here. Plenty. A meal for four, couple, drinks, a couple of desserts. Yeah. yeah. Meal Dinner. for four? Yeah, you could feed a family of four for a week, bro. Yeah, McDonald's maybe. Yeah, or, or making food. Oh, yeah. There's that whole thing that too, isn't there? Yeah. I mean, cooking. <sighs> Damn. Who is she? Um, so far, that was expected. Done. Five nice alive. little trick from Chopper. Down the hole. The backflip. The backflip. Showing Brokey how to do it. Didn't quite land the precision foot. But we are back into the real weapon round. So this is why they went for the full eco. This is why we just watched a quick and uh, unnecessary compulsory win for FaZe. It's picked up now, and now we get to see if they have got some teeth to this defense. We've seen the aggression up middle. We've seen that they want to kind of keep that in check. And SDY and Mir Magic's all going for a little palace adventure. Now, where do the others take this? Of course, we have Chopper. SDY might throw a smoke from here. Looking at his position, I feel like he's... He's in a position to do... So is he just holding the push? Okay, maybe I got excited. I thought he was going to do the cool little bee smoke to fake it out with chopper smoke. But that's just me theory crafting maybe nonsense. Yeah, I saw that cool one on Reddit. It does start from there. <laughs> I wonder how long this one's going to go, though, because this is the slow pace that we're talking yeah. about with Spirit. So uh, with this team, they're more than happy to stay in limbo, wait out any early CT aggression. They'll go through all of their grenades. And if you're phase, you will just do a lot of these jiggles and jump peaks. You have no reason to throw out your smokes and molotovs until you're threatened. Because Spirit, in the previous matches that we've watched, you can they do exactly this. They posture up, they wait. They're not really going to... Okay, Brokey's seen one. So now we can start having some utility thrown out towards middle. Molotov towards under window. That's going to delay it. We're already sub one minute at this point. It will just be an A split. It has to be that finish. We're almost guaranteed to get that. Kirby pushing forward towards B means they can cheat the rotation over. They've got four on the A side of things. Nico pushing up close A ramp. It's going to be the jewel as they come out Palace. How many can the A ramp players get? Yeah, well, if they're not looking, it falls to Brokey. They are calling it clear now, though. So Nico could put himself in that brute. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. That angle's going to hurt. And there's not much util. They're going to have to, because we're contacting off this. They're hoping Chopper makes space, and he is making noise. But Nico finds the first. Quickly traded. Brokey needs some warning shots, and the spray transfer's not there, so the flank from Rain can win it all. And Chopper oh disagrees. Quick reactions on the 180, just turns around on a dime. 
Bomb down. He's off. And they're out of there. Around wow. the world from Chopper. Yeah, and he was quick on that too. Before the bomb even went down, he began this journey. So he's banking on some Dai Young to buy a little bit of time, be a little bit of a presence and allow that rotation to come in, which it should be just about fine for now. CTs don't have a smoke. They've got two flashes. One kit on cold, so there's a little bit of a shot here, but this is well, that's a tag, but it's going to put them on notice now. Time's of the essence, and they're running short on it. Oh, lovely from Chopper. He has been instrumental in this round, and yes, Kirby can do well. The Chopper's just trying to buy time. Does he have the kit and the time? I don't think so. No, he doesn't. Out we go. Lovely from Spirit, even though it's so late in the day. Yeah, it felt like FaZe had everybody where they needed to be. They were even cheating that fourth man over towards the A site, unable to get across the line when they knew where the attack was coming through. And I think that Chopper's kill onto Rain coming up on that A round flank was everything as this round. It's good trading, standard stuff, but this kill right here, that was the one that I think was the, the, the round changer, the deal sealer, and Chopper finishes things off. So big round there. As we move forward, FaZe should have enough to get a buy on the board. Orp out in the hands of Brokey this time round. The, the M4s and the AK in the hands of Nico. So Galil's, the Magics and Chopper, not a huge amount of utility and this time a different approach to the start of the round. They're actually showing some mid presence. Wanting to get up in the grills. That's Nico and Connector. He's the only one to receive the mid presence and his nade is perfect. 50 damage, well, 49 to be exact. Onto Chopper there. Now the second wave of mid utility can come out. So smoke towards window, smoke towards connector. Flash was a little bit premature. Chopper will take the connector space now. It looks like it wants to be a bit of a B split coming on through here from Spirit. Kiebi and Cold just put down their smokes as well, so they're going to be dissipating pretty soon. But Kiebi pushed up, posted up, and Cold playing behind. Oh, Chopper was trying to set up the flash. Nico's caught him. Kiebi and Cold doubled up in this apartment. It should surely be a recipe for success, and it is. Oh, glorious. Quick double from Cold. This balance is caught off as well, and it will put the seventh on the board with four still standing and a full investment into that round. Spirit will be sent into the nastiest of territories. 1,500 at the low end, 17 at the high. It will have to be a force buy. The nether realm. Yeah, no one wants to be there. This is the quick double from Cold Zera. You can see the angles he's holding. Nice little two-piece. Kirby did the same as well from the apartment's position. They have one flash on magics, and they have a bunch of deagles to work with and some tech nines. So, looks like it might be a fake over towards the apartments. Oh, actually, hold up a second. What are you doing? So maybe if they go down through underpass and then up through connector onto an A split. We've got SDY and Limbo. The bomb's been left top middle here. So this one won't be with any rush. I thought it might have a little bit more pace to it, but instead they will just be taking their time. We have two duos of tech nine and deagles. We have SDY. Top middle with one of those tech nines. Oh, okay. Well, Magix is dead. <laughs> <laughs> They're just limping out everywhere, right? Look at this. They're just tr trying to find picks. This is a nightmare for Rush, unfortunately. Damage coming through is just nothing. Turns it. No problem. Oh. Chopper. Good work on the response. But yeah, these two were kind of isolated from the others. The bomb has been retrieved. And uh, towards B we go. Kiebi did push up last time. This time, however, a little bit more cautious as obviously his buddy called Zera over towards short. I'm going to say this one's going overtime. I'm going to call that now. An early call. I'm going to call it now. I think that Spirit will be able to post sporadic rounds on the board, but FaZe should be able to string a bunch together. And just the way that this one looks like it's going, it's the spirit of the slowish style that we're seeing come on through. Kirby should be able to mop up these final two. Cold Zero here in tow. It's just a matter of time. Backing under. There's Cold. Kirby swings. Takes down SDY. Round number eight on the board. So 13 to eight right now. Team Spirit. They do have a hefty lead, but we're going to see this shrink very, very quickly as it will have to be an eco on the other side of things. A loss bonus going forward will net them a buy. A plant would be fantastic. So maybe they could go for a little bit of a cheeky beaky play. Try and draw out some rotations, get that bomb planted on the opposite side of the map. But all in all, this should be a clean one from FaZe. You can see just one flash invested on the side of things from Chopper. Good just love, Palace. Yeah, the four-man waterfall and the flash to go out. So to receive on A, it's going to be Rain. And Nico. Good nade. Great nade. Easy stuff. Oh. 
Very precise from Rain there. It's only against the uh, naked opponents, without the Kevlar, without the helmet, but still good shots nonetheless as the guns will be coming back on through. All right, what kind of approach have you got for us here, here Spirit? Go. Are we going fast or are we going slow? The orb's out for Ida's balance. Maybe that'll be the can opener they need. Need something. Don't want to fall foul to what we've seen from them before that grind becomes impossible to recover. Ramp, attentive play from the CTs. Rain is getting curious. Kierby now posted towards ladder. As the T's do begin that mid-hold, this does look a little bit more proactive early on, but this ramp presence is going to be a problem. Swings from middle. Jungle short, oh. cut off, some die young ahead of it. Stunning work from him. Nico's down, so now the two players on ramp who could have been great are now going to be having to be instrumentalists. The bomb is left in spawn. And now with these two here, this cuts off retrieval. They're in problems galore. And Brokey is still in amongst them. He's going to see the bomb, the bomb now. Idas Balance uh. is on the other side. Oh, this is awkward. And now he knows it. Walks in. Idas Balance keeps this round. Walk in the way it should be for them. Yeah, Kirby, one on three situation right now. Going to come up through the connector. Has a full set of nades. Money is good on the phase side of things. So if he wants to go for this round, I wouldn't blame him. But he has three scalps to find. Another smoke's going to land. And he's going to... Push on through that. Whoa. There's a real chance for him to at least catch them by surprise here. Now with the bomb. It's an open plan. He can execute it, but the trade is swift. And so that's the 14th. It's exactly what Team Spirit were in pursuit of. It's still not pretty for them, though, just because of the lay of the land of these last few rounds. It's really sketchy stuff. 1,400 loss, but, uh, well, victory, I suppose, in victory. You can see how close this one could be came. SDY catching cold, and this was the awkward duel as they were talking about. Spotting the bomb. Mir was so quick to trade, though. 27 for Mir at the moment. Yeah, I mean, let's not forget he had 21 on the CT side. Blistering stuff. Continuing that star form that we've been talking about, and well, FaZe want to take some more territory. This time it's over towards Palace. And Spirit, well, they're having none of it. Over towards the B side, they have four members. One towards the underpass, three towards the upper halls. Mia, a lot of responsibility towards top middle here, just selling the standard mid default. And Brokey, well, with that AWP, he's going to have to do a lot of work right here. The MAC 10 is going to come bounding in any moment. I haven't seen this yet. Chooses not to. Ooh. Not going to find the first, but they're jumping around with their MAC 10s, and that's a MAC 10 into an all gone. And Kyobi's gone too. He only gets one. This looks like it could even be 15. The rotate's so slow. Nico begging for his teammate's arrival. His anti flash does mean he can peek into SDY. But Disbalance surely trading. No, Reigns caught Mir. Disbalance didn't hit his shot. So now the numbers have teetered and back into the favor of FaZe. Kit on Rain. He's coming from Kitchen as well. All three from the same avenue of assault. Last bits of util now put down. Time's ticking. They've got to get a move on here. Disbalance misses the first. Nico still stands. He goes down. It's magic to find it now. Just disbalance. Rain going to go for the push. He's the one with the kid, if I'm not mistaken. So right. this is going to be a problem now. Right. He's not the time anymore. Gold Zera can run and get back as quick as he wants, but I'm pretty sure this one's all but over. It is. That's 15 now on the board for Spirit. Disbalance wins around by oh. holding Crouch. That's wow. mad. That's mad. All he had to do was survive. You were bang on, Lauren. The fact that Rain got so killed hungry oh i mean he played it to what he played it to perfection but that's team spirits 15th now and they're on phase running out of options just survival and a no scope yeah that one there ambitious for cold to get on it felt like it was well and truly done and maybe couldn't have even gotten out of that bomb radius in time it's the last ditch attempt from phase or out in broke his hands once again that first half two of the rounds that phase posted on their T side, withdraw we'll this individual right here, winning one on twos. He's got the big weapon. He's gonna need to convert another miracle round to keep FaZe in it. Round number 25, scoring 15 to nine. FaZe about to get blown out of the water here on the third map. This hasn't really been a highly contested matchup. Slow rounds haven't worked so well though for Team Spirit. They are on 15, of course, but keep in mind, and the buy from the CTs is shambolic at best, but 
There has been a couple of answers from the CTs in these sort of rounds, and it has to come from Brokey. Rain posted up with a Deagle as well. He's kind of patrolling around by Palace, but the smoke's come through. And there's the isolation. Brokey going to get one and back away, but they've lost Nico in the process. Oh, this beast split is going to put so much pressure on Kirby. He has to win the fight against Magic, or so Cold Zero is in trouble. Oh, Kirby. This is huge. Nice work from him. And then even Cold Zera adding to that. Showing presence. Here comes Brokey. This should be control, oh, no. but now it's suddenly falling apart. No, 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 no. Brokey's missing his shots. Mir finally knocked off his perch. It's Kirby, the hero. Needed that. Really needed that. Okay, so we play again. And it does send them back into squalor. Peasantry. 1600, 15. It's gross. This was Kirby's hard work, and it pays off. He upgrades from the MP9, a precise headshot into disbalance, and then finding him as well. Mir was causing so many problems for them. Just when it looked like they'd done enough, you really can't write the Spirit out of any of these rounds. So I think we might just see Spirit go for the Force here. So they're going almost all in. Disbalance keeping a little bit. We know why. The AWP of the team wants to have a little bit of residual cash, but this, if they don't convert here, means that they will have to take the save in the following. That means phase should be up to 12 rounds, and we can start talking about that overtime that I was prefacing Addiction. a little bit earlier. A prophecy. <laughs> Hopefully it's uh, <laughs> coming true. Then I'm not going to look like such a clown for banking and uh, doubling down when the scoreline was 13 to 7 or something ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, force by does definitely point us in that direction, Chadney. And uh, hoping and praying that they'll be able to find something with the Chopper self-boost, nothing there. Rain has got the perfect weapon for some damage and some destruction. Oh, he just moved away, so... Who's gonna take over Palace duties? No one's looking! No one's looking at Palace! The timing's ridiculous, now Rain's in trouble. No! Oh, not like this. Oh no, I can, I can hear the salt starting to form. This would be unbearable. Bombs down, retaking now, Brokey. Not going to be given anything. He posture magics into that sandwich position, hoping to slow them down. Double orb for the retake, and already the oh, bodies are dropping, no. and this is how it ends. Souring the mood further. Just a question of timing, just as rain responsibilities started to. Oh, oh, magics is going for knife kills. Deary me, they are playing the time, and they've played it right. It is Team Spirit, and no more face clan eliminated.